Our latest WRL documentary, Durham Under Fire, revealed you are less likely to be convicted of committing a violent crime in Durham than you are in the rest of the state as a whole. WRL's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger picks up the investigation now with one family's call for change that shows the real life impact behind that statistic. When Satana DeBerry was elected Durham County District Attorney in 2018, she had campaigned as someone who was going to work to reform the criminal justice system. She wanted to focus on violent crime, not the petty offenses that fill up the jail. We at WRAL examined her record to see if she is achieving that campaign promise. There's no real evidence that we are quote unquote soft on crime, but we are smart on crime. In interviews and in writing over the course of years, District Attorney Satana DeBerry repeatedly stresses violent offenses are her priority. We focus on those most serious and violent crimes. From Carol Reardon's experience, she says that is not the case. He was so full of life and he like would command a room. He would walk in and be like, I'm here. <laughs> you know, Her brother, Teddy Tivnin, died two days oh. after a man identified as Daniel Mohar headbutted him to the ground outside a bar in 2019. Mohar was initially charged with first degree murder. Earlier this year, he was convicted only of involuntary manslaughter. Reardon blames the DA, claiming prosecutors failed to make a compelling case. It is a absolute slap to the face of justice. It is a slap to the face of the criminal system in Durham, North Carolina. WRAL pulled data which shows Reardon's situation is not an outlier. Since DeBerry took office, Durham's conviction rate for first degree murder charges is 24%, lower than the 67% in Wake County and 45% statewide. Going beyond just murder, looking at 38 different kinds of violent felonies, including rape, robbery, and assault. Assault, Durham is still lagging with a conviction rate of 37% compared to 61% in Wake County and 49% statewide. These numbers are for people convicted as originally charged, not people who plea to lesser charges or take plea deals. DeBerry told WRAL documentary reporter Kristen Severance felony conviction rates are not her focus. We don't lean on really what we think are outdated modes of um, determining how well prosecution works. But do you have a method, is what I'm asking. If, if this is outdated, then, then what do you use? We do have numbers that we collect, but we also are looking at individual cases and the outcomes of those individual cases and whether or not those individual cases provide accountability um, in that particular case. In an email, DeBerry's communications specialist, Sarah Willits, referred us to these reports put out annually by the administrative office of the courts. They show that since DeBerry took office, the average minimum active sentence for felony convictions is higher than right before she took office. Yet the reports also show that the percentage of people convicted who get any prison time at all is down. Still, DeBerry says she does doesn't put a lot of stock in numbers because she is intentional about doing things differently. She believes her method is what the people of Durham want. I'm the first district attorney that's been reelected in Durham County in 20 years. And over that 20 year span, we had two district attorneys uh, who were removed from office and subsequently disbarred and a series of interim DAs. And what that meant is there was not a lot of leadership in this office. Reardon will forever see it differently. No, she's not tough on violent crime. Had she been tough on violent crime, Mohar, the man who murdered my brother, on tape, on video, would be serving more than eight months in jail. I loved my brother. He, I loved my brother. And he deserves so much more than involuntary manslaughter. He deserved, he was murdered. He was murdered. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Durham. In a statement emailed to WRAL last night, the DA says her office is collaborating more with Durham police, even meeting with them before they charge suspects in some cases.